If you've been using your smartphone to make your videos, but you're ready to upgrade your gear, then this video is for you. I'm going to give you specific gear recommendations from microphone, lights, and camera in order to help you take your videos to the next level. Let's dig in. Hey, I'm Daniel and welcome to Uscreen Health and Fitness, the best place for personal trainers, yoga instructors, brick and mortar studio owners, and more to learn how to grow their business online. The best question to ask yourself when you're starting to think about equipment upgrades is simply this, is it necessary? Do you really need to upgrade your equipment right now? Or would you be better off learning how to get more out of the equipment you already have? If you feel confident it's time to upgrade, then you need to answer this next question. What specific area am I trying to improve? And what one thing can I buy for maximum impact? This will help you focus in on the single areas like audio, video, or lighting that need improving right now. Instead of buying all the gear, you can invest in one piece at a time and measure your improvement. Take it from someone who has always been working on a limited budget. This approach has served me very well as a professional creator for the last 10 plus years. Good Lord, am I that old? Okay, that being said, let's get into the recommendations best bit of gear that you can invest in is additional help. There's some parts of production that you're probably not good at and you don't want to get better at. If you're earning enough money from your content that you can invest in gear, it's definitely worth investing in help too. For example, I love creating videos, but I hate writing scripts. So I brought in someone who could help me turn my content ideas into clear, concise scripts. The result, I had more energy to focus on the stuff I love, which is creating and editing. And the quality of my videos has improved significantly because of it. But let's say that new hardware and gear is really what you need. Let's look at how you can invest your money to improve your video production. Audio should be your first upgrade. I know, I know, it's not glamorous, but I'm not here to tell you what you wanna hear. I'm here to tell you what you need to hear. Investment in high quality audio is never wasted. If you've got a smartphone, then the HD video you're capturing is more than adequate for right now, but your iPhone microphone is an audio disaster for your videos. A lapel or lavalier microphone, as some call it, is a great place to start for a few reasons. First, if you're shooting in a variety of environments, whether it's a studio or your garage or your backyard, a lapel Hell mic offers better audio fidelity and cleaner sound. They're also discreet, unobtrusive, and they can be positioned close to your mouth while remaining out of sight. Second, if you're leading workouts on camera, then a lapel mic will remove almost anything from the background that distracts from your instruction. The lapel microphone will lock onto your voice and minimize those distracting sounds. Third, when you get a wireless lapel microphone set, you can also buy a headset microphone to use with it. I'm talking about the kind of microphone that you see public speakers using on big stages or instructors using in fitness studios in order to communicate effectively with an audience. The Rode Wireless Go Kit is $200 and the headset mic is an additional $300. Be sure to look for deals or even some used options if you'd like to get that price down. But either way, this setup is worth the investment. This system is actually so versatile that it can be used as both a lapel microphone and as a shotgun microphone for both your smartphone and any cameras you upgrade to in the future. I recommend you head over to the link in the top right corner and watch that video to see just how impactful good audio can be on the end product of your videos. You can improve your video's lighting in lots of different ways. There are all kinds of tools and lights from professional setups to simple flashlights that you can use to fit your budget. The key is to leverage diffusion. Diffusion is material that helps spread the light source evenly to help reduce glare and harsh shadows. Getting this right will make a dramatic difference because it softens and reduces the harshness of your lights. You can use wax paper or parchment paper from the grocery store, or you can search for light diffusion on Amazon, and there are a number of affordable options available. If you're ready to invest in real lighting like LED panels, here's what I recommend. I currently use and love these LED panels from GVM because they have RBG capability, which means that I can change the color of the lights and not just the brightness. The three light kit goes for about $350 and I love them. You can also buy a two light kit from them for $240 and that's a great start as well that will save you some money. Like a camera, it's more important that you know how to use the equipment than what specific gear you buy. So check out the link in the top right corner for a video where I share how to light your videos. The best way to upgrade the quality of your video is to invest in a better camera and lenses. If you're using a smartphone, I recommend looking at a better camera instead of the underwhelming clip on lenses. I'd say the best place to start looking is the Canon M50. This is a great starting camera because you can get it for $580 and it can shoot 4K video. Then I'd highly recommend you grab a good lens to go with it. It might be tempting to pick up a standard kit lens, but those lenses are usually average quality at best and are not optimized for really beautiful shots. So I'd recommend looking into the Canon 22mm f2.0 
Zero, which you can grab for $250. And with that lens, you can get that sharp focus on your subject and a beautifully blurred background. However, you need to commit to learning how to use whatever camera you buy if you insist on upgrading from your smartphone. That means you shouldn't use auto settings on your newly upgraded camera. Why? Because if you're using auto everything, you won't get the best image out of your camera. Plain and simple. Auto mode is safe mode. And if you're just gonna use auto settings, you might as well just stick with your smartphone camera because the images will be comparable. The magic of upgrading to a real camera is that you get more control over the camera settings so that you can optimize the image in your viewfinder. Just to show you exactly what I mean, here's what this shot looks like if I put my camera on auto. Get it now? If you've got questions about specific gear, you can always let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to help point you in the right direction. If you're committed to learning to properly use your new Canon M50, then the video over there from Think Media is a great place to start. They've even got an entire playlist dedicated to helping you master your camera. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.